Just a couple years ago, creating captions while editing was a complete nightmare. Having to go frame by frame, every word, every line, tons of cuts, and an overall huge time waster. Not to mention keyframing if you wanted that too. But nowadays, Adobe has helped us creatives out a ton, and it's made it a super simple and easy process to create captions out of nothing. But before we hop into Premiere, I just want to let you know that I'm the founder of Creator Club, where I offer editing assets for creatives just like us, so that you can save a ton of time while editing with just drag and drop presets. I say this just because right now, I have a 15% off the entire store with the code OPEN15, so that you can save yourself some money. But I just want to let that know that that is available to you. So now let's go ahead and hop into Premiere and learn how to create animated captions super easily. I've got the clip in my timeline. Creating captions is actually super, super easy. All you gotta do is click on the clip that you wanna add captions to and hit text. And if you don't see text for whatever reason, you can go to window and then right here, you can hit text and then this window will pop up for you. And so the first thing we wanna do, super simple, you just wanna hit transcript and then hit transcribe. And so now this is gonna go through and generate all the captions captions, or not the captions, but the wording for it. And so now you can see everything popped up. What you want to do is you want to go here and make sure all the words are correct, spelled right, and then add in or remove anything that you want. So like for me personally, I don't like to use things like capitals, periods, commas, just typical grammar. I think it just looks more clean, but that's just my personal preference. So if you double click on the text here, you can actually just go in and just change it to whatever you need it to be, but it should be pretty accurate as long as your audio is okay. It's super simple. Like if, say, if I just wanted to change it capital just click on it change it super easy to do i'm not going to go through and do it all just for the sake of the video but that is how you do that and just make sure that everything's right it's not the end of the world if it's wrong because you can go back and change it later it's just easiest when it's right the first time so once you have it done you're going to go over to captions and then you're going to hit create captions from transcript and then in here you're going to see this preferences tab hit this and then this is going to change whether or not you're doing short form content so vertical or long form that's horizontal that only matters for this one right here where you have the maximum length and character because this is literally how long each caption is. And so a vertical content, you cannot fit that many words onto one line, longer form you can. So for short form, I'd recommend anywhere between like 12 to 15 seems to work best for me. I usually go about 13. Or if you're doing long form, you could send it up to like somewhere in the 20s. Just try it out, see what you like. Worst case scenario, just redo it, it's super simple. Just make sure that it's not too long on horizontal content. So that way your viewer's eye isn't going completely left to right. Just typical, nerd stuff for me. Okay, because this is vertical short form, I'm just going to set it back to 13. And then for your duration in seconds and your gap between captions, you just want to turn these both down all the way. And then for your lines, hit single because we just want to end a single line and then do create captions. And so now all of our captions are generated. That's super simple. If you're doing this manually, that would have taken like 20 minutes to do. That just took like three minutes for us to do. So now what you want to do is you just want to highlight everything as in all of your captions. And then you can go up to your properties tab here in the top left. And here's where you can change your font, the sizing and all that. So I like to use SF Pro Bold. That's just my personal choice. Run whatever font you want. Totally up to you. Because we're going to do animated captions, I just want to put this in the middle. And then I just want to scale this up a little bit and then turn the opacity down, bring the size up just create a clean look see whatever works best in your content and i just want to scrub through this really quick and make sure that nothing turned into two lines because if you make it too big some lines will jump down and create two lines so just going through scrubbing through it making sure that that's not happening it looks like we're good quick little tip is you're gonna see some captions are super super short like right here where you have like i've that's it and super short like if we play it back people are not really going to be able to read that so what i usually do in a case like this is i would just delete this clip extend out this the next line and then just add it in to this line so if i just double click just do i've been able just go through your footage and just make sure there's not captions that are just like super short like a couple frames long that's just what i like to do just to create a more professional look but so once you've done that your captions should be pretty much good to go just make any adjustments that you want to them and then we can start adding the animation to them in my case we're good to go i'm gonna highlight all of our captions and then go to graphics and titles and then do upgrade caption to graphics so now pretty much all the captions are done, but we want to add some animation to it. If you're not familiar, I own Creator Club and I have some presets done for you in my text effects and animations kit. So I'll show you what one of them look like. If we go up to presets, we go to text effects and animation. I personally like the pop text. So if we drag and drop this on, you'll see what that looks like. You are wasting so much time if you... 
So you get the vibe. This is what I wanna show you how to recreate, but with the preset kit, it's obviously just drag and drop and it's done for you. But for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna go and delete the presets and show you how to make them from scratch. So if you haven't seen, I uploaded a video talking about how to create smooth keyframes within Adobe Premiere Pro. I would highly suggest you watch that. So this next step, you can have a really good understanding of how to properly execute smooth animations. So if you've seen that, you kind of already know what we're about to get into. If you haven't, I'll try and break it down super simply. The most like goaded effect in Premiere is the transform tool. Type in transform and we're gonna drag and drop one of these on. This is how you can create smooth animations within Premiere. So you can see this drop down, this is our transform. First thing I always do is turn the shutter angle all the way up to 360. This is gonna create a motion blur effect when it has animation on it. And say we're trying to create that pop text. So now we need to create some keyframes. So for that, that's gonna be the scale. So for the very start, I would say, let's put it at like 20. Let's go up a little bit more than that. We'll do 40. So this is the starting point. So we're gonna hit this little stopwatch and create that keyframe. And this is gonna be a super short animation. So so I'm actually gonna extend this out a little bit just so we have room to play with. So to create that pop kind of text, you wanna scale up slightly higher than the end point, and that's just gonna give it a much more professional kind of look to it. The default is 100, so let's go up to like 115, and then it's gonna hit the final point of 100. So it doesn't look good yet, but let's just see what we're working with. You're a waste. You're a waste. Honestly, it doesn't look half bad. But something that you want to do is you want to highlight all of your keyframes, right click, hit Bezier, and this is where you get the smooth kind of look. It'll be hard to tell on an effect that's so simple like this, but it's still kind of worth it to go through and just make it right because you can always save it as a preset and then use it forever. Looking in here, you'll see these points. First thing at the, at the very end, you always want that last anchor point. I don't know if that's what you call it to be lined up with this flat line. Otherwise it's gonna have like a jittery come to a stop flat harsh ending. So the more you can line this up, the more smooth it's gonna look. Basic little rundown. You wanna create these points like they have a peak in the middle. So we see here on the left side, it's like it peaks up and then slowly kind of drops off. So I just wanna meet that in the middle. And that should be pretty much it. That's a super simple effect. That's really easy to create. So now let's watch it back. You're wasting. I think maybe this should be moved out like a frame. I think the middle frame should be more like 110. I think it just comes out a little bit too much. Thankfully, it's super easy to readjust how big and small you want it. So let's watch it back now. I think it needs to actually go back a little bit more. And then we can just make that motion a little bit quicker. So now that looks really good. Play around with it to see what you like. And once you have something that's dialed, you can right click on the transform effect and then you can save it as a preset. So that way you can use it again over and over super easily. But because I already have one, I'm just gonna cancel. We don't need a second one. So once you have your preset saved, it'll show up within your presets itself. You could just select all the clips and just drag and drop it on. Or you can just go back to the clip that you created on, click on the transform command or control C and then select the rest of your clips and then just hit command V. So now let's go ahead and check out these captions that we created. You are wasting so much time if you were not editing with presets. I've been editing for over It looks super good, but we're not done just yet though. So say everything looks good, in this case it does. What you wanna do is you wanna select all of your captions, right click and then hit nest. This is just gonna make it one big clip and then you can readjust the scale and it's where you want it in your frame. So say I want it a little bit bigger and I wanna move it down. All of your captions are gonna move down. And the reason why we nest it is because if you create the effect while it's not in the dead middle, it's gonna look really weird because the animation is starting in the middle and ending up at the bottom. I don't know if that makes any sense. And it doesn't really need to because all you need to know is just to create the animation when it's in the middle. But if you have your preset, all you'd have to do is just select all of your clips, drag and drop your preset on, nest it, and then you can move it around. Super simple. And just like that, we have smooth animated captions. You are wasting so much time if you were not editing with presets. I've been editing. You can create any kind of animation that you want. Like this is the pop text that I personally like. You can have ones that go like right to left. You would have ones that just like come up from the bottom or something. Totally up to you, whatever you want to create. And that's why we are creatives. But nonetheless, I hope you guys got something out of this video. And that's how you can create smooth captions within Premiere Pro. If you want to see a video where I teach you how to rotoscope, which if you don't know what rotoscoping is, that is where you can put text behind objects or subjects in your frame. And that's a video where I teach you how to do just that. So I will leave this video right up here for you guys to go check that out. And I hope to see you guys over there.